What's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech, and there are so many awesome changes in iOS 12.2 Developer Beta 1 that I want to show you guys in this video. Now there are so many awesome changes to Safari and so many other cool features, and on top of that there is a kind of interesting glitch that I'll show you on later in the video, having to do with Siri, and of course the volume HUD. So I will get to that later in the video, but let's get started with Safari. So this update brings many new changes to Safari. And I'm really glad Apple is actually adding new features in this update because the past updates have been pretty stale. So the first new feature is these little arrows inside of Safari. So if you type in one word, what you can do is if you look down, you'll see a little arrow. And if you tap on the arrow, it'll basically complete your sentence. Now, it doesn't look up what you typed. It actually just adds it to the search bar. So you can continue doing this until you get a more accurate search result. I think that this is a pretty cool feature to have. And I'm glad Apple has added it to Safari. And by the way, the wallpaper I'm using is the OnePlus wallpaper. I'm not going to link it down below because it's pretty popular. And yeah. Also, Apple now specifically lets you know if a website is not secure. So you can see that in the top of the search bar, it says not secure in a gray text. The next change for Safari is inside of the settings application. So if you go inside of the settings app, open up Safari settings, you will notice that limit ad tracking has been removed and has now been replaced with motion and orientation access. So not really sure what motion and orientation access has to do with Safari. I'm assuming maybe just add data on how you use your device and movement and stuff like that. Kind of interested in how that's going to turn out in the future. But yeah, kind of concerned as to why limit ad tracking was removed. Also, kind of a cool feature inside of Control Center. If you have your Apple TV remote, you can now force touch on it inside of Control Center and you get this new platter. It's basically full screen rather than the typical screen you would get inside when you force press on any other application. But what I did notice is when you force press on it and then click the home button, you get this really weird stuttery animation. It just doesn't really look that smooth. So this is kind of like the view you used to get inside of the screen and mirroring view but it would be for Apple TV. Also just want to mention that the screen and mirroring icon has been updated. It now takes up the space of two toggles rather than one. So it's the shape of like an oval instead of a square. Also, I noticed that whenever you type in your passcode, whenever you're verifying your Apple ID, it is very laggy. The keyboard did not pop up for me, so I thought that was strange, but eventually it does pop up. You'd also have a really cool view to control your music inside of Siri whenever you ask for Siri to play a song. So I think this is very convenient. However, if you go to change the volume, Apple basically screws with you because they have the new HUD. It looks ugly combined with this new platter. And on top of that, it's not even timed right. So if you do this a bunch of times, the phone freaks out and it looks so weird. It looks like your phone has a mind of its own if you move the volume up and down a bunch of times. I thought that was kind of strange. Also. Apple News has been updated for Canada. New support for French or English has been updated, so you can choose which one you'd like. On top of that, instead of saying Fahrenheit in the corner of the app, it would say Celsius. Anyways, that is about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. i got a bunch of really cool videos coming out soon, so stay tuned for that. And as always, peace.